This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for making your own website or online store. This video I am filling my sketchbook as usual another page in the sketchbook and this page isn't a news spread well it is but it isn't at the same time I actually sketched this out a while ago but I was flipping through my sketchbook trying to decide what to draw and I was looking at some old pages to see if they needed to be like filled a little bit more and I saw this spread of these like loose rough wobbly dragon sketches that I did for uh, February when I was drawing a lot of dragons and they were all in pencil and I just had the urge to color them. So I started off by getting a black brush pen and outlining all of the sketches so that I would have something to work with. It's nice to outline sketches because you get to sort of like reimagine the line work and add details and you're almost like redrawing it in another layer on top. So if there's anything you want to fix, you can fix it in the line work layer, you can add details, you can really make the lines more of like art than just just outlining for the sake of outlining. Um, this particular page, I did it very loosely, not too worried about it being perfect or detailed. I just wanted to draw, I just wanted to color these dragons and have fun with it and make this page look a little bit more colorful and fun and it was honestly super relaxing, super fun to do. One of my favorite things to do is to sit down with my sketchbook and flip through and look at some old pages I've done and try to make them better, add to them, color them in a little bit more. It's pretty fun to see how you can like transform your pages and it really makes your sketchbook feel more whole and like you're working on it all at the same time instead of like one page at a time. Um, I used to only want to fill a page before I moved on to the next one, but now I like to jump around a little bit more, but I usually won't go right back to the beginning and add stuff. I'll just like go to the last like five or so pages that I've done, or if there's an empty page somewhere at, at the beginning or somewhere a lot earlier in the sketchbook, I will go in and like add stuff. I don't always do this. Like there's some pages that are emptier than others. It's not always gonna be like completely full and colored. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling and what I want to do. But today I saw all these dragon sketches and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take some of my um, markers. They're water-based markers, which means they don't bleed through the page because alcohol markers do. And those are the two main types of markers that people use with art are like the alcohol-based ones or more like permanent ones and water-based. Alcohol-based are better for like final illustrations where you really want to be able to blend colors, you want like smooth transitions between colors. They're more for doing like finished art. Water-based markers I like to use for playing around, messing around in my sketchbook, adding water, not water, <laughs> adding like random splashes of color on pages, coloring in the backgrounds of my sketches. That's what uh, water-based markers are really good for and I like to use them in my sketchbook. I've I uh, do it in a very loose way. It's really just like coloring a sketch. It's like a colored sketch. That's how I would describe it. It's not how I would actually color something if I was wanting to make like a nice looking piece of art. Not to say these aren't nice looking, but this is me doing it quickly and, and loosely just for the sake of playing around with different color combinations, trying to see what I can do with these dragons. Like each one I wanted to have a different color scheme. So the first one I decided to make it blue and I was like, what would happen if I made the stomach purple? And then the next one is a yellow dragon. Well, it's like a yellowish greenish, lime yellow, lime yellow, lemon yellow, <laughs> lime green um, with like green spines. And then the next one I took this like beige light light marker. I think that one actually was a Tombow marker, not the Ohuhu ones. The main markers that I use are Ohuhu markers because I I feel like I say this all the time, but people always ask what kind of markers I use. And it's not because I've like tried tons of different markers and selected my favorite one. It's just because it's just kind of what ended up happening that I ended up with all these markers. So a while ago, my mom got me a Christmas gift of 60 Ohuhu double-ended water-based markers. And then later down the road, that company reached out to me to do a video for them and they sent me like almost all their colors. 
So I do have duplicates, but I have 120 different colors. So I thought, hey, I have these, they don't bleed through sketchbooks, and I've slowly kind of fallen in love with water-based markers for sketching. It really takes the pressure off because they're not that expensive of a supply compared to like other supplies and it requires no mixing, it doesn't require a palette. You can just bring them anywhere you want and they're already ready to use to just add whatever kind of color you like on the page. Um, watercolor will always be my like all time favorite media, but I do get bored of using the same thing all the time and I just let myself use whatever I feel like it in the moment. Like. If, if, I, if I think like, oh, this would look better if I used watercolor, but I don't really want to get out my brushes and fill a, a thing of water and like mix stuff and deal with the mess, I'm just going to use my markers. And then I decided to use my uh, Caran d'Ache wax pastels for the backgrounds. These are my, one of my favorite things that I've started using last year. You might have seen them everywhere, like a lot of people are starting to pick these up and use them because I just feel like adult crayons. They're everything I want a crayon to be and the first time I used them I was like, okay, this is this is kind of magical, this is what I've always wanted. And I kind of was kicking myself because years ago when I used to actually use Crayola crayons, I think I had a commenter recommend them to me, like the Caran d'Ache ones, they're like, they're a little more expensive but they're like so, so good and they really feel like professional crayons and I was like okay that sounds cool but I've never heard of that and I just kind of forgot about it and now everyone's using them and I should have tried it a lot earlier and the cool thing about them is you can add water to blend them around the page. I've never really gotten that kind of thing to work for me like watercolor pencil crayons and like anything where you color on the page and then you add water to blend it. I've never got that to work for me. It always ends up looking muddy. It never really works that well. Um, if any of you use them that way, let me know what your process is like, or if you know of any artists that actually add water to the Caran d'Ache ones, I would really love to uh, hear your recommendations for that because I can never get that kind of stuff to work for me. Maybe it's just not the way I work. I can definitely see it being a cool way to like blend them, but I, I don't really use like purely the pastels to do a drawing. I like to mix my supplies together. I, like I do a lot of mixed media stuff, obviously, as you can see, and um, I just use them as like an accent to add things. Like I don't really go from the ground up with the Caran d'Ache pastels. I have added water to them in the past to like blend out a background color, but it just never really goes the way I want, I think. Now to thank this video sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can build your own website from the ground up or from a template. They have a huge library of flexible templates to choose from, and you can pick one to get started and then change all the colors and the fonts and the layouts and customize it however you want. There's also a new guided design system called Squarespace Blueprint. You can go through the steps and choose blocks that you want in your website template, and it will create a personalized template for your needs. They also have optimized SEO tools, which is search engine optimization. If you decide to use Squarespace for an online shop, they have flexible payment options like credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay. In certain countries, you can even use Afterpay and Clearpay. I recently updated my site to match my branding colors. I changed the font and um, I put a nice subtle yellow background to my site to kind of give it a warm feel and I added some new illustrations that I've done recently and it was really easy to update everything. If you're interested in trying Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com slash gelarts and you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Something about um, these markers is that the color of the lid does not match the color of the ink in most cases and a lot of more affordable marker brands don't have light colors. There's just something about the light colors getting neglected. I don't know if it's harder to make light colors. Um, and when I say light, I'm talking like, I don't know, like a 10%, 20% lightness, like something that is just slightly tinting the paper with a light color. It seems like a lot of markers have mid-tones and really, really bright colors. Um, the Ohuhu ones have pretty good dark colors too. And there's not that many light colors, but there's enough, but not not as much as I would want. Like when I used to use Copic markers, well, those are alcohol-based markers, but I used to use those and they had so many light colors. They had multiple shades. They had the whole spectrum of the rainbow. And um, 
I think in this video I also used some alcohol markers. I completely forgot. I was like, I'm gonna try using alcohol markers and I flipped to a new page. You're gonna see a tiny bit of it at the end. But I started using the Ohuhu alcohol markers because I also have a set of those and I was having a really hard time finding light enough colors. They were all way too dark and like, I don't know if it's because I don't have the light ones. Like they were, they are really nice um, Copic replacements. I've heard that they are pretty good compared to Copics, but I don't know if they have lighter colors in the ones that I have. I probably just need a wider set, um, but I like them a lot. Um, it would just be nice to get some lighter colors. But when I actually tried the alcohol markers, I was so out of my element because I haven't used them in years. Like I used to only use alcohol markers, like Copics, like I said, when I first started my YouTube channel, if you go to my oldest videos, they are all Copic speed paints because I loved Copic markers. I loved how they looked on the paper. They were just like so inspiring to me, like so fun to use, so magical. Like I watched other artists use them um like sophie chan on youtube and bailey j and like all those people i still watch bailey j all the time um so i was like i'm gonna try copics again well not copics alcohol markers because i had the ohuhu ones i actually sold all my copics like a couple years ago because i just never used them and i wanted someone else to get used and i tried the alcohol markers and i just don't know if like the marker life is for me like the alcohol markers because i like to have a lot of texture in my art and they don't have that and I know I can add texture on top, but I just feel like watercolor will always be it for me. But I really want to try it more because it's honestly just fun to like try supplies that you're not familiar with anymore. And um, I was definitely rushing a little bit because I was like, well, I wasn't rushing, but I was kind of like getting tired of drawing for the day. And I was like, I just want to try a little bit of alcohol marker doodles. Let's just draw a bird. Let's see what happens. And I didn't really go far enough with it to discover a way that worked for me but if you want to see me try again let me know because i don't know if you'd be interested in me just using alcohol markers i don't like using them in my sketchbook though because they bleed through the page and then i need to do something creative on the other side of the page to prevent it from uh or to cover up the the bleed through because you can't really like draw over that you have to paint it or like paste paper in and i just don't really like that in my sketchbook so i'm debating like selling the Oh, who, who alcohol markers because they're honestly just collecting dust but I also just want some in my arsenal just in case I ever want to use them so I don't know it was a very short-lived experiment that you'll see at the end of the video but it, it was fun to do and I am curious to keep trying and to see like maybe I can get it to work for me because I know some people do a base layer of alcohol markers and then get out some pencil crayon and some other like dry media to add texture and detail and um I really like that look, but I think I like to start with a more textured base instead of like a smooth base, if that makes sense. Um, but it was still pretty fun to do. Also, let me know which dragon color combination is your favorite. I did a couple of different ones that I, I don't normally do, like the bright purple, bright yellow. I actually have always been a fan of purple and yellow and also purple and orange, but um, let me know which ones are your favorite. I kind of like the last ones with like the more natural colors on the page. I think those ones are pretty cool. I also want to remind you that my Frog Plush pre-orders are still open. You actually get it at a lower price if you pre-order. Currently, once I get them all here, I'm going to close pre-orders, count the inventory, and then put them back up at their original price. And then I will send them all out to everybody who has pre-ordered. So if you would like one, make sure to check it out before the price goes up. Did you also know I have sticker sheets and washi tape and keychains and enamel pins? and all sorts of stuff on my shop and post-it notes. Those are pretty cool too. So check those out if you want. Tons of prints as well and stickers and a huge sticker pack that people keep getting. It's like a 16 pack of a bunch of mystery stickers. So if you want tons of my stickers for a more affordable price, that is the product for you. I hope you enjoyed another dragon sketchbook video. I just really wanted to color these guys in and see what, what I could do in a loose and relaxed way. So. I hope it was fun for you to watch. Let me know if you drew anything while watching this, what your current sketchbook is, what your current favorite things are to draw. I've been drawing a lot of moles lately, which is something I've never drawn before and you'll see why soon. So uh, hope you're excited about that and I will see you in my next video.